Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today, the video is related to RNA sequencing data analysis. And the title of my today's video is Getting Started with R Programming and Understanding and Installing R Packages. So in today's video, you will learn that what is R Programming and its use in RNA sequencing data analysis, R Programming installation, basics of R Studio, and what are R Packages and how to install it. So basically, as you know, all know that I have started a video series related to RNA sequencing data analysis. And this is the part 16th of that video series. So in the previous video, I explained and I practically performed it how to quantify your genes after alignment. So we get a file, uh, an Excel file, where genes were present in rows and uh, the, the count, the gene counts were present in columns, okay? I will also show you the file in a moment, okay? So then uh, we have to analyze this matrix. We have basically, to, we have to analyze this matrix using R Studio, okay? So just a quick recap. Uh, I started the video series from the very beginning. I explained that what is basically RNA sequencing, the overflow, the experimental design, each and everything. Then we started with the Linux operating system. So this part was covered by Linux operating system. Alignment was also done and quantification was done. Okay. So basically these all were performed through Linux. Okay. So after that, a specific output was generated and that output was basically from the quantification. Okay. So we get the gene counts. Okay. The gene counts. So now, the gene counts should be analyzed because it's a huge matrix of 50,000 plus genes. And we have to uh, just explore, explore it and uh, take out some useful information from it, okay? So it's a complete data analysis and we will use R programming, okay? So this normalization and differential express gene analysis, this will be performed through R programming. So after, uh, okay, so after, the, uh, after this uh, video, we will be dealing with R programming, okay? So this was a quick recap of uh, uh, RNA-seq workflow. So let's start with that, uh, what is basically R programming and it's used in RNA sequencing. As I have told you that uh, we generated the files. Let me show you the files that uh, we have generated in the previous videos. Okay, this is the file, the gene expression matrix file. And uh, this was all uh, when we analyzed our fast queries, okay? So now, let me explain that. Uh, so this is basically the, these are the samples and these are the gene expression, the gene counts. And basically these are the genes, okay? So I'm having 50,000 plus genes in rows and we, this is very much simple matrix that for example, this gene, the quantification, the gene count in this sample is one, or we can say that uh, just look here to the second gene. So basically in this sample, its count is 213 in this sample it is 219 so it's a huge matrix and uh, it should be analyzed using r programming okay uh, we also have another file this is the metadata file and we know that which accession is related to which phenotype okay so basically we are having five samples of cancer and five sample of normal okay so the gene counts is basically uh, some samples of, are of cancer and some sample are, are of normal so we have to see that which genes are upregulated in the cancer samples and which genes are downregulated in the normal samples and vice versa, okay? So this is only, this can only be done to uh, using R programming, okay? So I think you have get a point that R programming and it's used in RNA sequencing data analysis. So if you are not familiar with R programming, so this is the exact video for you. So first, before starting R programming, you have to install it, okay? So I will mention the link of installing R programming. I will mention this link. You can also copy it and paste it and uh, install your R programming. So first you have to download and uh, install R and after that when it is installed, so then you have to download this. So first you have to install this download and install R and after that you have to download R Studio desktop for Windows. Okay, so these are two files. When they are downloaded, so then you can easily uh, uh, install it. First you have to install this R 4.3.3 Windows and after that then R Studio. So when you install this, so, and when you open this, so this type of, uh, home page will appear okay so this is basically r studio okay let me show you i have already installed it so this is the uh, the, the panel of r okay so it consists of four regions and the four regions are uh, not very much simple this is the source where you have to write your code okay and this is the terminal when your code is executing so the messages will be appeared here okay this is the environment and uh, once we make an object so basically the object name and the information will be mentioned in this environment history okay and these are the, when we generate some plots and install some packages. So 
the here this information will appear okay so it basically consoles or consists of four consoles okay so do not get confused you have to write your code here okay so i think this is not that much uh, difficult um just explore it okay now this was uh, a brief introduction about that uh, how to install it and basics of r okay but uh, uh, i have some videos related to r programming and i have explained the basic in much more detail so i will also add the links of that videos so then you can easily go through that videos and you can watch that uh, it and you can explore it okay so basically it is also related to gene expression data analysis okay so that video and this video uh, is the same so that's why I, I i'm not explaining the basics of r okay you can get there and you can watch it okay now the other thing is that r programming how to install and use r packages but before uh, you should know that what is basically r packages and what it, it uh, why we are using r packages okay so i can explain this through a very basic analogy so for example if you are the chef the chef is the r programming okay and this mangoes are your gene expression data and you want to analyze it okay but uh, you are performing a specific analyze uh, analyzation or you are performing sorry a specific analysis and you want to cut you want to cut the data into this slices okay or this cubes like structure okay so there must be a specific package which consists of uh, specific uh, uh, orders to and specific methods to cut the data okay so when you have that package so you will install that package and after that inside that package there will be a feature and you will call that feature to cut your data so it will use all the script inside that package and it will just cut your data according to your need and according to your desire okay so you are not going to write the entire code of how to cut it how to slice it it is it is mentioned in the in the package you all, all you have to do is just to call that feature okay and beside that feature all the script will be run easily and your data will be spliced okay so basically this is the reason why we are using packages okay so it may uh, basically it um, make things easier for us okay so very much simple this is the analogy i think you have get it so there are specific pa packages that you must install before performing rna sequencing data analysis and these are the packages so i already provided to you you only have to just uh, write this code and you uh, you have to install all these packages okay and these all packages are used for specific function and i will explain all these packages when i will be doing uh, rna sequencing data analysis so in different steps of data analysis we will be using these packages okay so then i will explain that what is the purpose of this package and what is the purpose of that package okay so copy these and install it in your r studio let me show you that how to install a single package and then you can easily install the entire package but uh, remember your r studio should be updated okay so this is the updated version of it 4.3.3 so this is the updated version so when you are installing it so it must be updated okay so let me tell you, uh, explain that for example i want to install this okay so you you only have to copy this or type it down and after that uh, you have to paste it here okay and remove this hashtag so now bio c manager install summarize uh, experiment okay so this is a specific package this is the name of that package okay so i already have installed it you only have to just uh, select it and click run or run and after that it will the, the installation will begin so i already installed it so i am not installing it and after that once you have installed it then you have to call it okay so if you want to call it so very much simple <clears throat> what you have to do is that let me explain okay <clears throat> paste it here and write the name of your package here okay copy and and after that run so your package will be loaded okay so now you can use the feature present inside this package okay so this was a simple uh, logic behind installation of packages and use of packages so now the my package is already loaded and i can now use the features of this package okay so this was all about the rna sequencing data analysis using uh, r programming i think that it's a brief video but uh, you should i think you got the idea that why we are using r programming okay so you there are plenty of videos related to r programming uh, they have explained r programming in a very good way okay but here i will be just explaining r programming related to rna sequencing data analysis and i think you need this type of analysis okay so we are having our feature data our gene counts matrix we are having our metadata in the next video i will explain and i will show practically that how to load your data and how to prepare your data for 
differential expression expression gene analysis okay so in the next video part 17 of this video i will show you how to upload your data and how to normalize your data and how to prepare your data for differential expression gene analysis okay so thank you very much for today see you in the next part of this video series thank you very much god bless you